short video is just going to take you through uh, working uh, with the uh, preset workspaces in Illustrator and creating your own custom workspace. So I'm just going to create a new document. It doesn't really matter what type of document. I'll just choose A4. And um, up in the top um, right hand corner is your workspace switcher. So you'll see that mine is set to Essentials Classic at the moment. When you first open Illustrator you may find that it is on Essentials which is kind of the new workspace where your uh, control panel at the top is hidden. So I would recommend that for, um, for this course, you change to Essentials Classic. Then you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting your control panel across the top and you're getting your properties panel down the side. But essentially all that these workspaces are, are arrangements of panels. So all the panels are available in the window uh, menu and so if I choose one of them you'll see there's a panel there um, and all of the workspaces are just arrangements of those panels so if I choose for example a workspace for typography it's going to rearrange my panels on the side here to present to me the most useful panels for typography um, so really that's all it is so you can customize it however you want to you can drag these panels out and arrange them wherever you want them to be so maybe i want the character and paragraph panels to be together and i want to dock them to this side um, and maybe i also want to add onto here um, my image trace panel and i'll dock that down there so you can arrange it however you want to and then you can save that as your own workspace. So you might get a workspace organized like this and think, wow, this is exactly what I want to work with. I want to be able to come back to this whenever I need it. So you can go up to your workspace switcher and say new workspace, and you can give it a name. So I'll just call this awesome workspace. Okay, and then um, I might not need it anymore. So I can go back to my essentials classic. And then whenever I want to access that workspace, it is here, available um, up at the top here, Awesome Workspace. And it's going to present to me that arrangement of panels. If I'm on a workspace, so let's go back to Essentials Classic, and I mess it up. So let's say that I'm just uh, playing around and I accidentally close things, and then I realize, oh, jeepers, I've messed this up. How do I get it back to the way it was? You'll see in your workspace switcher you have a reset and whatever the name of that workspace is. So reset essentials classic will take you back to the way that that workspace has been uh, set up. So you can't kind of mess it up permanently. You can always go back to your uh, reset. If you want to get rid of a saved workspace that you created, you can go back to your workspace switcher and to manage workspaces. And then you can click on a workspace and click on the little bin to delete it. So I'm going to delete those ones there. So all that I'm left with is my awesome workspace. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.